So today we did another installation of uh, air cooled unit, 26 kilowatts. We are putting the whole house uh, on the generator. Uh, it's a 400 amp uh, entrance. So, uh, so the power that's come to the house is uh, 400 amp. Now uh, they had no choice but to put a 400 amp transfer switch. Uh, to power the whole house, but um, definitely the 26 kilowatt is not big enough to start everything at the same time. So we put modules on the items that are not the priority, which are, which are the furnaces. In this house, one of them is going to be probably permanently off. The other one works half locked. Um, so they placed uh, the tanks close to the uh, generator, which is. Uh, not by the code and they're gonna move it anyways. They just left it here because it was not ready uh, to put them forward. It has to be 10 feet far from any source of ignition, which is electricity. And so generator is one of those source of ignitions. The, those two guys are gonna go all the way to the end and then our gas technician is gonna connect it to the generator. Uh, generator has to be placed five feet from any opening, any window, uh, which we followed the code and it goes on the concrete base. Uh, it's an air-cooled unit, 26 kilowatts, so the breaker is 110 amp and it's giving uh, this much power to the house, 26 kilowatt maximum. Uh, when it starts, it starts half load and then based on the, based on the need, um, it's, the consumption is going to go higher and higher. amp is that the main switch is 400 amp so we have to use a 400 amp transfer switch this is a service rated um, automatic transfer switch we have done some part of the connections it's not done yet we are in the middle of the job uh, so the power is going through the main switch then the meter box and then transfer switch is going to feed in the whole house so we have two sources for this guy hydro and generator the generator is still 26 kilowatts so it's going to give us 100 amp 110 amp maximum um, so we don't have enough power for the whole house so what we're going to do we will put modules on the furnaces there are two furnaces in the property one of them is for the second floor the other one for the main floor so the second floor is going to be permanently off uh, but the main floor is going to be half load uh, so still they're going to have the heating cooling um, but not in full range so that the, the rest of the house is functional too. Uh, the house is huge uh, so uh, they need power for the rest of the house which is which are more ma mainly lights and outlets there is not much more here let's say we have uh, for the wood for the uh, pool the pool is it's it's off during the winter, so we are not cons it's not we are not worried about it. Uh, it's the furnace that we want to control, and then uh, probably we are gonna have one more module on the hot water tank. Uh, the rest is good to go. We have a monitoring system that we are gonna install. Let me show you. It's this guy. Uh, I got it from Amazon. We are gonna monitor the usage of. Uh, I believe this one has. 16 circuits yeah so we are doing we are monitoring 16 circuits so the customer is going to see real time how much power is using on 16 separate circuits and um, just in case they want to you know uh, they want to know how much uh, power each is using and uh, that's a good uh, uh, module that's a good thing to have So in a couple of minutes we are going to cut the main power 
to rewire the connections that we have here. So we shouldn't, we don't have power for about two hours, and we are gonna do the final connections. At the end of the day, we will do the tests to see how the things are gonna work, and we're gonna show it to the customer. If you're interested in these videos, you can uh, subscribe. If you're new to the to the channel, so um, if you like it, yeah, just subscribe, and we are gonna put more videos from now on. Uh, it's been uh, about six, seven years that we are in, in the market, but we recently started videoing the, the jobs, so more videos are coming in. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Sorry? Yes, that's okay, Bibi. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna calculate it and we'll uh, do it, no worries. No worries, we will take care of it. Yes. That's okay, sure. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Bye. People are always giving us nice feedbacks. Uh, it makes us happy even during the, you know, the job, you're tired and we get a positive feedback, it's really cool. Yeah, we have a uh, lot of uh, nice experiences with our nice customers. That's part of the job. Uh, the transfer switch is installed, so the team is doing the final connections downstairs. Um, a couple of minutes there, they are done, we are going to do the test. Um, we will um, do a you know, um, the simulation of the power failure with the customer to see how does the switch works on the generator. And then um, we will put it on off for now till the gas is connected. And then we will put it on, although we do the final test. Uh, put the fuse back uh, so it's gonna start and we, uh, we were gonna do the activation so the warranty is gonna start from the date that we do the activation take some time so that uh, instead of Wi-Fi for now we are gonna choose no so the time is 4 so it's 16 or 6 on this 2nd of October 23 perfect so uh, it says bi-weekly, it starts every other Friday. The shutdown is on, so... Okay, both of them are off. Now we'll go back. We're gonna go back to the sub-menu and we're gonna edit. When we do the activation, the customer is gonna receive Mm, an email and that's good to keep it because the serial number and the activation there activation date is in there so it's always good to have uh, you know the record of the uh, generator yeah so we had this promotion of 10 years warranty that we're gonna apply for the customer yeah the regular warranty is five years parts labor are two and three years in travel and the engine itself is five years but now the promotion makes everything 10 years the exception is always the battery uh, the accessories the cold weather kit but the rest of the generator is going to be covered and we, we will apply for all of our customers automatically after the installation the we're going to edit the exercise time bi-weekly I always put it on Monday 10 o'clock morning time 
it can't be in the weekends has to be between 9 to I believe 9 to 5 p.m. every city is different they always make it um, 10 o'clock every other Monday so that doesn't bother anyone and there it is perfect Let me see. okay so it's done that's for the Wi-Fi password uh, to connect it to the uh, home network here I'm going to check if the paper is remote and we're going to put it on awesome we are ready to do, to do the connection of the gas and do the test I'm going to go check downstairs if everything is connected then we are going to come back to tell you The hydro that I mentioned in the beginning of the job, this is the one. So we're installing them here on the circuits that we want to monitor, right? Uh, and then be connected to this so that they can uh, monitor the usage of all of these guys real time on their phone. Uh, if I'm gonna help Sam. Okay. 10, 11. Okay, here. What does it ask? So after uh, 30 seconds, the generator is going to start. Between 5 to 30 seconds, that switch is going to switch. Okay. You will see that the switch is going to. What does that do? Uh, it's a transfer. So it's sensing the power, sends a command to the generator to turn on, then it's gonna. The command uh, comes from there to mm -hmm. start uh, to transfer to the generator, and in reverse when the power comes back. So the generator is just started. Between five to thirty seconds, that's gonna switch. Oh. We have oh. power. I'm gonna check the voltage. Mm -hmm. 240, 120, 120, and the amp you're using 12 amp at the moment. Okay. Now, when the power comes back, mm -hmm. it's gonna wait 30 seconds to see if hydro is reliable. Then it's gonna do the reverse. So how are we lying on the long enough from outside, right? Exactly. Not from here. The, or the, if the or generator the is, or the app. It's gonna tell you. Now cool. it's going back to hydro. It takes 30 seconds, one minute to pull down those off. Absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm going to put the covers back. And uh, the modules, let, let's see the modules together too. There are two modules in the first one. The top of the third. Now they are blinking. After five minutes, they are done. Uh, here. Everything is on. Perfect. We will go check the modules. What they do, they're gonna here. So you see they're blinking. 
Which one? Where am oh, over there? Yeah. Oh, okay. So now. It's gonna blink for five minutes. Five minutes, yeah. And then? Then it's gonna get switched to the. To the. To the. Exactly. So, so now this is being powered by the generator, the furnace? Exactly. Okay. Did I turn it on? Yes. So now, you see it's blinking? Yeah. After five minutes, it's going to become solid. Which means it's, it's running connected, on its, it's own. running. But this one is priority number two. Okay. Priority number, sorry, this is priority number one. Priority number two is this one. Priority number two is the other half of the furnace. 